All right, let's see how this video goes. Um, well, a few things anyways, I guess. What have I done? All right, here, I did a combat, kind of, not really. So there was an Opal Cheney Brigade um, here, well, they were here. They were at this spot. There's a rail railhead here. I mistakenly said that the Opal Cheney Brigade were over here, that um, uh, there was a railhead there. there I don't know. What, no, it's just a broken railhead. That's why they were lumped up. Anyways, I decided I was going to mount an attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten strength points against a people's militia brigade. Remember, these guys are not trained soldiers. They're just mustered together, extremely reluctant. Oh, Jesus Christ! This is the problem with these things. Extremely reluctant to, um, and I'm not even using my reading glasses, oh Jesus Christ. Um, sorry, I'm just getting a bit OCD here. Um, I'm also listening to some music perhaps I shouldn't be listening to and trying to do a video about, but it's kind of metaphorical, so I'm, just, I'm going with it. Um, so I had a lot of strength points, well, comparatively speaking, to a one strength point Opal Cheney Brigade. Now let, let, let's think about this again. Like I said, it's a people's brigade. They're just mustered together. In my world, they, they're not even allowed to do any offensive. Um, they're not allowed to be um, uh, counted for any attacking purposes. Their strength points, nothing like that. They're just there to defend. And they're not even, they're so far past the border, they're already like so far out of their comfort zone, it's not funny. They're also in open terrain or clear terrain. There's nothing, it's not like they're in woods. It's, this isn't like the Lost, you know, Lost Battalion valiantly, you know, uh, you know, um, uh, repulsing German attacks in the woods or something. This ain't happening here. So what I did was I just said, screw this. We're getting the hell out of here. Uh, as soon as they saw, do you even think they, they probably don't even have a machine gun for God's sakes. Like, let alone, it ain't happening. So I just decided, okay, we're going to retreat as soon as um, we saw this. That's all I did. I just moved people in here and I said, it's going to be an auto retreat. End of. Um, other than that, let me get my reading glasses. I think I really need them because I'm like, what the hell? My God, my... <laughs> Somebody at work earlier in the week was like, oh, well, don't use reading glasses if you don't need them because you'll never go back. I'm like, well, I need them. What the hell? Presbyopia, man. Hardening of the lenses. Okay. Oh, yeah, way better. So that's it. These guys are done. And I did this thing, like I said before, I'm not too sure if I'm a big fan of. Well, I'll figure it out by January 1915. I moved troops like there was no tomorrow. These guys were over here, and I moved. Uh, these guys were over there, and I moved them to there. I made, uh, moved BG-20 from that position. And like it was just like this massive shift on over. We're still going to try to mount an attack. This is going to be my final attack, the Boog River Bridge attack for Flippin' Sure. This will be the last thing that ever occurs uh, for this mini game until I go forward. I've um, written down all the, uh, the Austro-Hungarian troops. I've got them all down. I know what the die roll modifier, well, it's going to be Woods, minus two to their attack, uh, plus one to the counter attack. I have no clue how many strength points are there. I'm telling you right now, that's another thing. I've mentioned this time and time again, and it's going to happen. I'm getting into reconnaissance. I've been writing down all these little things. I really want to talk about focus points like you have no idea. Anyways, like how to uh, get them and so on. Okay. So I had to move some people here. I stripped a little uh, bits of troops over here to, you know, have a continu continuity of line. There's going to be no attacks here anymore. I thought there was going to be. I was going to try to really force my way, but I'm over the line anyway. So, you know, it's weird. I was looking over here going, oh, what a success, you know, so on and so forth. You, you think, oh, the Austro-Hungarians have done. Um, 
Well, actually, they were 40 kilometers away from L Lublin, and they've been pushed all the way back to the border. So don't start saying it's been a success. It's, um, you know, it's almost like, I don't know, uh, I like thinking about Chaco rations and so on and so forth. Uh, anyways, these combats are not going to occur. Uh, this is not like uh, the Opal Cheney Brigade in uh, open terrain. These guys are uh, can use woods. I just don't have enough. I'm going to leave this open. I know it's a little bit gamey, but that's that. Um, yet again, another gamey bit, I guess you want to call it that. I'm going to be, I have, I've written them down, but I haven't done the movement yet. We're going to give this a shot. I, I also, that's another thing, like I've mentioned before, I really want to get this bridge. Uh, crossing uh, bridges uh, for me and uh, are just extremely important and this is a biggie plus it'll bring me bring us right back to the border it's gonna cause some monster issues for well I understand there's gonna be like come January everybody's gonna be trenched like a little whatever so I'm looking at it in the long run too as well uh, you want to have like almost like chronic minor aches and pains for the other side <laughs> get them to, to be distracted for other stuff I don't know so that's the way I'm going with it. So we're going to, so I'm going to be moving, um, these guys are going to be uh, the First Army over here. Uh, are they First Army Direct? No, First Corps. So First Corps is going to be jumping on over here with Second Corps. Uh, there's all that one strength point there. It doesn't matter. Probably just some little land rear brigade. Uh, and then I'm going to move, I think I have some, uh, maybe not. No, they're going to move from here uh, it's because I have restrictions now. I'm like these guys are. I know it's you're like, what are you talking about? There's only eight strength points here and seven there. I am so close to the maxed out uh, bits for uh, stacking limits. There's like, I think, f four and a half or something uh, divisions here. There's five divisions worth it. <laughs> it's just nuts. Uh, it's, it's not good. Or uh, I think maybe five here and four and a half, but you get the idea. It's not good. Um, Oh yeah, I've got two strength points. That's the two strength points. I know I can fit them somewhere in there. Uh, yet again, unsupplied, but we're going to give it a go. Yet again, these sons of Fs um, have uh, woods. It's, I mean, these are most likely going to be um, unsuccessful, even potentially this one. But that, to me, is going to be like um, a pay-per-view event. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm going to leave it at that. I've been having, oh, this is just like, let's go. Let's go. All right, see you later.